Hey, what's good, everyone? Local Iceman here. Interesting times are in here. Very interesting. I'm not even sure where to start this video. It's just kind of like, kind of mind-blowing right now what's going on in the world, and especially up here in the Northwest, and I don't know it affects other parts of the country. And what I'm talking about is the COVID virus here. Kind of starting to affect the ice rink. And I got a few messages from you guys, too, that your rinks are shutting down. Same with us here. We're, we're shutting down. And not only are we shutting down for a couple weeks, you know, as mandated by the state, we're actually going to pull the ice out. And they can't really see and justify the expense of keeping the ice in for two, three weeks if there's no one to be able to skate here. So we're, we're pulling the ice out here in March, which is pretty early. We're planning to pull the ice out in July, August, first time in like four years, I believe. We take the ice out probably every four to five years. And to do it this early in the year is kind of interesting, and especially under the circumstances. I just don't really know uh, what the... Uh, what to say here is that good luck to everyone and everyone at the ice rinks and their jobs and, and families and food and just be calm everyone I think we'll get through this we just got to be calm and not hoard things and um, the food distribution system looks like it's still going and trucking and stores so I think we'd be okay but it's going to be a hard financial hit for a lot of people and I had to lay you know four drivers off today which kind of sucked and and I think I'm going to be, you know, good for a few weeks. I got a lot of vacation time built up, so I may burn some of that. But we'll, we'll take the ice out. I guess I get to show you guys how we take the ice out here. I mean, that's going to be kind of, yes, you know, under different circumstances, it would be really cool. But under these circumstances, it's kind of, like, interesting. So, um, guys, let me know what you guys are doing at your rink. So, you guys just shutting down? Or are you guys actually pulling the ice out, too? And um, here in Washington State, the governor excuse me, the governor mandated that everything shuts down for two weeks. That's recreational facilities as well as restaurants and I forget what else, but it's still to go orders and stuff, things like that. Um, our schools, which I think, you know, it's a good call to shut them down, but I think the length was kind of interesting. They shut them down for six weeks starting this thing. This is the first week, six weeks to close down. I think they should have done it in two week increments or something, but so no school for six weeks. Who knows what's going to happen with that? The colleges are out. So, and we're going to see if we can still run like a day camp or daycare on the soccer side to try to provide something for the parents and their kids. But, you know, like, it's like anything, you know, be half the people agree with one thing, half people think the other thing. And, and he's even stand open this weekend. I guess the boss was getting some heat from people like, well, how can you guys are open? How can you offer like a good daycare? Like for cause, you know, the people who don't have to work, you know, for those who don't have to work or who can work at home and still can earn money and, and watch your kids, you know, like good for you. But there's a lot of people who, who have to still go to work and don't have a place to bring their kids. Um, we're trying to do the best thing. So right now, the best thing is to shut everything down, I guess, and not let anyone in the building. I think it should be a, more of a self mandate, you know, I guess, isolation or quarantine, you know, that the. Anyway, it's, it's very interesting, so we're going to go with the flow here and going to start pulling the ice out. I'll do a separate video on how we do it here because we don't really have the equipment to pull it out. And since time's not really an issue, I kind of just let it melt and push it out with water. That's kind of how the place is set up to do that, so that's kind of how I've done it. But anyway, so I don't know what else to say except, you know, good luck, everyone. Hope everything works out for all the ice rinks and, and everyone. All the, the people are being laid off right now, restaurant workers, and it um, doesn't affect everyone, but pretty soon it will trickle down into your life as well, how it happened to me, right? It re really affected me until today. And today, last night, 9 o'clock, we got the news from the governor, the governor, <laughs> governor, I was shutting down. I knew, you know, things are not, you know, everyone's just so anxious right now or uncertain about the future and that's kind of kind of kind of sucks so i think we'll get through this you know, the, you know hopefully the government sh steps up and in low interest loans and things like that but again i, I just kind of like don't know what to say except good luck everyone thanks all i have for you guys today i'll check in soon with you guys go ahead and again comment below what you guys are doing and your ranks and how you guys are handling this. You guys stay open and shutting down. You're pulling your ice out or just kind of. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope you learned something. Like the local ice man says, stay cool.